Now halfway through the sports fishing FIPS World Games, day three was about to start. After the first two days in the ladies division, England was in second position and Spain in first. Spain also took the senior men's division for the first half of the competition, with South Africa in second position. The Masters division went to Italy followed by Portugal. Germany stood proud in the first position for the team's event and Spain in second followed by South Africa in third. Spirits and anticipation was high as anything can happen during the last two days of the competition. After the bait issue, it's off to the zones to prepare for the four hour challenge. So, good morning guys, um, I'm Michael, Michael Fadun, this is coach uh, or manager at Dilbia again. So we had the 2019 World Games, uh, day three, start of day three preparation, first hour, uh, start fishing in around about 45 minutes time, it's going to be ending here today. South Africa men's team are lying second at the moment, we hope to pro progress on that, or stay the same for now, and then into the final day with a good position. All right, basic mallet. All right, all we do is we take a knife, we slide it underneath here, all the way up down there on both sides, and then we pull off the skin. When we pull off the skin, it looks like this. It looks like that. Then we fillet it from any side you want to. I want to go from back to front, all the way side down. Then you get, then you get pieces like these. Those pieces I take, I take a baiting needle, I take a piece of sardine, piece of sardine, put them all together. I want to have the skin sides out because that's where all the uh, flavor is once that is uh, so this bait is basically for as much f as flavor as possible the skin side out underneath the skin is a yellow layer you see on the side is a yellow layer that's fat and oils and a lot of oil on that so if you throw this into water you're trying to attract the fish as fast as possible um, bottom line what you want to make is make, make a little sausage you want to call it that as close as possible to a sausage um, and then what you will do is once you're done, cotton it nice and, th nice and tight uh, because you're gonna have to clip it onto a silk look in this competition. Uh, or, or, you'll take it and cut it into sections one, two, three, bigger, bigger, small, the way you want it. Uh, just a tip, don't cut it before the time. Just see what the fish are feeding on. If they like bigger baits or smaller baits, that way um, your baits will get prepared. You just make a bigger piece or a smaller piece depending on what they're feeding on. But the basic basics here is we've got sardine and we've got mullet. Um, skin off as one mullet and for maximum flavor and once it hits the back there we should go tight. Okay guys then with the bait you're not allowed to throw the bait on the ground. The bait must go into other packet or any storage holder. By myself I've made myself a little table and then you've got a container put all my bait inside the container. So it never goes away and, and, and if they look for it, where's your old bait? It's right in there. Very important for, the, for this World Championships because the temperature rises. At the moment we're running about 34, 35 degrees Celsius and we're fishing from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Ice bricks keep that uh, bait ice, uh, uh, cold, very cold. Uh, otherwise there's some bacteria will grow onto it. Um, and what bottom line is at the moment it seems like the colder baits are working better. And that's the reality. Um, little secret for, for us at the moment, it's working, so when stuff works, just carry on with it. The blow of the horn signals the start of day three, and the anglers are ready to open the scoreboards. At this stage of the competition, work rate plays an essential role. After landing a fish, it is quickly unhooked into the water bucket provided for officials to come and measure while the angler clips on another bait and cast it before returning to the bucket, holding the fish to verify the measurement with officials. Once the catch is verified and signed for by both officials and the angler, the fish is safely returned to the water.
There is a good camaraderie and spirit amongst the ladies as they battle it out to be the next big shore angling world champion showcasing impressive skills, bait presentations, casting ability and work rate. Lesser sand sharks seem to be the order of the day. These fish are prolific in this specific area and for its size it provides an impressive fight. With the wind picking up as the day progressed, Conditions became more challenging, with a kelp in the grass presenting another obstacle for the anglers. The anglers, however, are prepared for anything and quickly adapt their rigs and traces to suit the conditions presented. What creates even more anticipation in this competition is that you don't really know where you are standing as you can only monitor or see the anglers close to you but will never know the true ranking until the results for the day is announced. Fishing this event requires a lot of skill, gathered through hours next to the water, lots of discipline and stern dedication. Day 3 drew to a close, ending off on a very windy note. In the ladies division Spain made their mark in the first position again, followed by France in second and Portugal in third. Oliver from Spain ranked in the first position, followed by Portugal's Marquis and South Africa's Low in third. The masters division went to Namibia in the first place. South Africa in second and Spain in third, with the individual performance of Buerta from Namibia ranked first, Godino from Spain in second and Walter from Namibia in third. The country taking the day in the men's senior division was Spain, followed by Netherlands and Wales. Under the individuals ranking Russells from Spain in the first place, Buden from France in second and Flores from Spain in third. Namibia took the day in the team's division, followed by South Africa and Spain in third. The team results at the end of day three ended up as follows. M. Donato and C. Ramondi from Italy in third, F. Frenzel and S. Lachlan from Germany in second position, and C. Marie and B. McFarlane from South Africa taking first position. On day four, it was clear that the anglers were determined to make the best of their last day's fishing and their experience in the beautiful west coast of South Africa. Throughout the competition, Spain has been consistent, ranking well throughout all the divisions with France, Portugal, Croatia, Netherlands, England, Namibia, 
and South Africa making their marks throughout the competition. By tonight, we will know who will reign the Sports Fishing World Games Champions for 2019. Kabozlo from South Africa, injuring herself during the competition, did not let this affect her work rate and determination to finish this championships with a spirit of true sportsmanship. I guess Kabozlo. Ik is van Zuid-Afrika. Um, onze is vandaag op ons laatste dag, wat ons hengel. Um, ik heb gisteren derde gekomen. Ik heb eerst mijn zoon en mijn derde al hier weer zijn punten tellen. Ik heb ongelukkig mijn um, kalf, mijn uh, kijk moet aan de woorden, zijn spieren dat ik iemand speciaal. So, um, al wat ons nou doen, zo is ons proberen om, om zo vinnig als mogelijk te gaan. Dan ons, ons maak voor die tijd ons asies op. En dan al wat ons doen is ons hak net die asies. So, dit gaan wij makkelijk en vinnig. So, we hebben genoeg tijd gehad voor die tijd om het voor te bereiden. Nu doen we ons net het beste wat ons kan. En verder hoop ons die vissen bij. Kabos quickly opened a scorecard and was determined to keep her position in the rankings. Uh, my name's Kimberly and I'm from England. It is the last four hours of the World Fishing Games and there is much to do still that could influence the results and rankings for the overall event. The majority of the catches were made up by lesser sand sharks, but overall the fishing was tough compared to the first three days and the anglers had to keep up their work rate, but at the same time take a different approach to fishing in the hard conditions. Conditions today is very slow. Uh, there's hardly any wind this morning, a bit of a south, southwest. Uh, the water is very cold, so the fish is very slow. We've, we caught two sandies this morning. Um, we're going to try to go a bit deeper and see if we can get some barbel or maybe some shark, small shark, or even maybe a, a blu ray. So uh, I'm basically just going to go with a bit of chocker. Maybe I can get a, a little bubble or something. Conditions like this, what they mainly fish for, for sand shark. And uh, so if the, if the biting is slow, we're really going to try and go a bit deeper. And if we're lucky, we'll get something bigger. I suppose the competition is tough, but uh, I think South Africa at this stage is walking it. Um, they did very well yesterday. The wind yesterday was pumping. They were talking about 60 k's an hour, so it was very difficult. Uh, so yeah, I think I think mainly we're going to try and and uh, 
you know, just fish and enjoy it, enjoy the rest of the day. Yes. You're not really going to worry about... The privilege to be here. ...about any competition today. Um, it's the last day, so we just want to enjoy it. That briefly sums it up. One of the most important parts is enjoying what you're doing and the privilege of being here competing with the world's best. A couple of gurnets presented themselves on the last day. Every bite was welcomed. Michael Manfredi, Italia. The last day proved to be a really nice day when it comes to the weather, but quite the opposite when it comes to the fishing and the results. The calmer the water, the less the bites. Hi, Albert Clearing. Hi, SA. I am really. Bellman from SA. It's essential at this level of competing that you don't lose heart but keep working at it. Consistently trying new things, casting further, casting shorter to find where the fish might be feeding. The years of experience all comes together on a day like this. The days where there were a lot of fish is where you really needed to perform and work rate played a major role. Everyone fears the last day to turn out like this with very slow fishing, making it extremely difficult to catch up or put good numbers on the board. Unless you got great points on the first three days and were in the running already, you're really going to struggle catching up on the last day. Uh, we're from South Africa, the name's Andrew. Very hot today, fishing is very poor. I'm Toby from England. England. Woo. Hi, I'm Danny. I'm uh, from Belgium. I love to come to South Africa. I have a lot of friends here. I'm also the coach of the girls' teams of South African in Europe. Uh, we like the conditions here today. It's starting a little slower. The temperature of the water is cold, but we hope to get it a little hotter. And uh, we'll hope if the wind turns a little more, we're going to catch a lot of fish today. Hi, I'm Kurt. I'm from Belgium. Fishing with my cousin here, Danny. In South Africa, the second time we're here, so I'm having a lot of fun. A few fish. Not a lot of fish today, but we're catching a few fish, so very happy. Well, yeah, we are in the World Championship, and there my rod's going, there my rod's going. Okay, sorry. So my name's Brian McFarlane. I'm possibly the oldest guy in the pairs here. I've been privileged, privileged enough to be paired up with Charles Marais, 22 times Protea Angler, with worlds of experience. And yesterday we had a fantastic day. Almost right from the beginning, every throw that we put in, it was double ups and triple ups and double ups and triple ups. They'd asked me what we were doing right, but the people on the left and the people on the right were watching us in astonishment. At the end of the day, we caught 68 fish for the day in four hours. What is the secret show? Luck. Luck. <laughs> Finding the formula is key. And like Charles Marie said, add a bit of luck to that recipe and it might just get you ahead of the rest. Once the pattern is found, you need to dig at it and get as much points out of that zone, conditions or feeding pattern as what you possibly can.
Hi, my name is Wimpy Delpot. I'm from Namibia. I'm fishing the World Championships here with my pen partner Herman Krauser from Namibia. Currently just turned 15 years old, one of the youngest ever to fish the World Champs, rock and surf I think. Uh, it's been doing good, one or two off days, but otherwise we're enjoying it. Um, nice warm weather today, separate from all the wind, but yeah, it's going good so far. We're not, we're not, uh, we had one or two bad days, but yeah, you can't, you can't win them all, eh? With yet another spectacular display from the Air Force, the last day of the Sports Fishing World Games came to an end. At the end of day four, Portugal came in first and Croatia in second in the ladies division with T. Radil from Croatia outperforming the rest. The Masters went to Italy and Portugal coming in second for day four. Walter from Namibia took the day with Passon from South Africa in second position. Spain took the men's senior division on day four with Ireland and Italy in second and third position. Spain's J.D. Oliver took the day in the individual rankings. In the team's division, South Africa made their mark in first position followed by Germany and Italy. Charles Marie and McFarlane from South Africa ranked up top for the last day in the team's event. It was now time for the prize giving and time for the announcements of the 2019 World Champions in the different divisions. Final scores are determined through a Grand Prix system based on the performance during the four days of the competition. Spirits were high and it was clear to see that through this tournament friendships were formed between the participants. Prize giving started with the Masters division. On the individual ranking, Walter from Namibia in third position, Sarafini from Italy in second, and the World Fishing Games. Big Shaw Master Champion for 2019 was Basson from South Africa. On the team ranking for the Masters, Portugal came in third, Namibia in second position, and Italy took the title in the Masters division. On the individual ranking in the Pairs division, Witherman and Madsen from England took third place. Second place went to Wellman and Thurling from South Africa and the first position and world champions in the Pairs for 2019 went to Luckman and Frenzel from Germany. The overall pair result ended up with Italy in third position, South Africa in second, and the title of world champions for the Peck Shore Angling in the Pairs 2019 went to Germany. In the ladies division we see Diago from Portugal in third, Silva also from Portugal in second, and title holder of the world champion ladies division went to Matulia from Croatia. In the overall ladies division, Croatia came in third, Portugal second, and the first place title for 2019 went to Spain. Last, it was time for the seniors to find out how they ranked over this tournament. In third position, we see Guerrero from Portugal, with second going to Flores from Spain, the world champion 2019 of the Sports Fishing World Games Big Shore Angling Seniors, Oliva from Spain. South Africa took third place in the men's senior division, Ireland second place and Spain the overall senior division world champions 2019.